Breaking news in the state of California in the short-term rental area. It appears, thanks to a friend, co-friend of ours, Stratton Brown, the California Senate has passed a 15% tax on short-term rentals, specifically focusing on Airbnb. They're looking to use this tax SB 584 to raise $150 million for affordable housing. Mr. Jason Pritchard, you have some Airbnbs. This will affect you, assuming this uh, post is true. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of it? And then just love to hear what's going on in Airbnb in Fresno. Uh, it was really, it was kind of shocking initially at first. I mean, when we just first logged in, you told me about it. So I had a chance to scan it as we were prepping for this call, man. And I have a lot of initial thoughts running through my head. I mean, it's the thing that people constantly talk about when you're investing in California. The state here just likes to overreach and dip into our pockets sometimes. And so that's frustrating as a property owner and you know, all the work that we put into doing this, right. Knowing right off the top, we're going to lose another 15%, you know what I mean? And so, you know, it's been a struggle with Airbnb over the last 12 months. Anyways, I feel like we've been going through some growing pains and people that have been managing short-term rentals, at least in our market would probably yeah. share kind of the same thing. And so this is just another, another, you know, another kind of straw on the camel's back, man. So I don't know. I don't know how we're going to respond to it and how it's all going to work and how it's all going to get implemented. It's just a new article now. So I think we just put our heads down and keep on doing the work, man, like you talk about. Yeah. So I think there's a couple of things. When I think about short term rentals, obviously, I have zero skin in the game. So it's, you know, take take my feedback or thoughts for what it's worth. But I saw a lot of people come into Fresno and other markets, which let's be honest, Fresno is not a great traditional Airbnb market. Correct. Right. Yeah. It doesn't have the beach. It doesn't have this. It's just, it doesn't have that, but it killed it. 2020, 2021. We know a lot of people just printing money. People weren't going to hotels. It, it, it just was a great business. And a lot of people made fun of me because I never went there. Not that we didn't think about it, but I'm like, nope, not my model. Yeah. I'm, you know, just it, it, to me, it's a, it's a different business, right? It's hospitality. It is. And, and, and I didn't want that. So I saw Fresno again. These are my numbers, not yours. Kind of spike in total listings at about fifteen or sixteen hundred. Yep. I think today I looked the other day. It's it's about half that. Yeah. So that was even before this. So I think what happened is just a natural culling. People thought it was too easy. The money's bad. Uh, it it wasn't the easy get rich quick. People thought it was, which means probably the people that are left are probably doing better now than they were last year. But I, I don't and know that's been that. that's been true for me. 